Hey you guys, it's Tanya. How's your day going? I hope it's going really good. <laughs> Mine's going pretty good. I can't complain. Anyway, <laughs> today I'm doing a product review for the Soy Cream Shampoo by Blended Beauty. Okay? Now, you can purchase this online at www.blendedbeauty.com okay but you can also purchase this at various retail locations across the country what you'll need to do probably is go onto the blended beauty website and look up their retail locations to see if there's a retail location near you okay but if there isn't one near you and you want to buy this product you can obviously go online and buy it now this is well, this is 8 ounces. I know it's 8 ounces, but I don't see that written anywhere. But just by the size, I guarantee you it's 8 ounces. Um, this online costs $18.50. I purchased this at Tendrils and Curls for a little bit more. Um, it was $20, so I paid $1.50 more. It's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, this is a very light cream shampoo. Now, let me read the ingredients to you. Or actually, you know what, Let's, let me do what I normally do. I'm going to show them to you. And every time, we hope that I can keep a steady hand so it stays in focus. I don't know if that's actually happening, so if it's not, as usual, I apologize. So, the description here says, A mild, luxurious hair cleanser that leaves a smooth and soft feeling. Okay? Blended Beauty Shampoo is a silky cream that is moist, extra moisturizing and conditioning and won't strip or dry out your hair. We're going to stop there. The directions are apply to wet hair and scalp and massage. Risk completely. Repeat if, repeat if needed. Okay. What does it smell like? Hmm. You guys, let me tell you about Blended Beauty. I'm going to assume that everything smells the exact same. I could be wrong, but of the three items that I purchased, they all smell the exact same. And the smell smells to me like TJ Cinnamons, Cinnamon Buns. I mean, that's what I smell. I smell Cinnamon Buns thoroughly. No chemical smell, no other smells, just fresh out of the oven, coated in icing cinnamon buns, and it smells wonderful. Ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, so the, the soy cream shampoo smells like cinnamon buns. It's very, very creamy. Can you see that? That probably isn't showing you anything, is it? Okay, let me... I, I screwed the top so that it wouldn't spill because I spilled a little bit of it in my container. Okay, let's put some right there. There we go. Okay, so what is the texture consistency? Can you see that? <laughs> it's kind of mucusy like, okay? But it has lots, there's lots of slip in there and it's very milky. I'm gonna rinse this off real quick while I'm gonna video with you guys and it it foams quite nicely let me just tell you I just saw it does it work on my hair yes it works on my hair it is a very light mild um, shampoo I really like it because when I used it I got a very good lather and when I rinsed it out I felt like there was still new, uh, moisture um, in my hair. My hair did not feel stripped. It still felt very soft and it felt like it was lightly coated. Not in a way that annoyed me, but in a good way. Um, I'm going to buy some, I'm going to buy a lot of this actually because I think I'm going to pass this, pass this off to all of my cousins for their kids because it's a very, like I said, a very light, a very mild, a very conditioning cleanser and I think it will work good for lots of the babies in my family. So yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be on the list of buying things on Black Friday so I can pass these out as gifts. Um I just used like my hair was already wet when I used this product 
and I probably used about four pumps, one pump per quad. And I just, you know, massaged it into my scalp and let it lather up. But I think I had to do it twice, I think. Because again, you guys, you know I have lots of hair. So four pumps is not going to be enough for me. I need to, I need lots and lots of shampoo and conditioner to get this mess under control and clean. Just like, um, <laughs> so yeah, I did use a lot. But um, I think for the babies or for people who have normal, you know, just average hair, you could probably use four pumps. That might be too much. Okay, because again, I know that I use lots of products and I'm also heavy handed on products. Um, but I, I really do like this. I wish I had discovered this product sooner because I know I've heard of this. Um, Narika is constantly, t I'm sorry, Narika D on YouTube is constantly telling me about products. And it's just the point now where it's just, I'm just too overwhelmed. There are just too many products. I mean, everybody and their grandmother now makes natural hair products because it's the latest rage. And so I'm just not usually willing to go out there and try everything. It's because I'm like, how can I trust them to be doing a good job? They might just be in this for the money. So, uh, but Blended Beauty has been around for a while. So I, I definitely should have tried this product a long time ago. Will I purchase this product again? I definitely will. Um, I've already told you I'm going to buy this for my family. Um, I was looking for like a softer cleanser for my hair. I have um, a clarifier that I love. I have a regular cleanser that I love. But I wanted something that I could use in between washes. Something that's not going to really, you know, strip my hair. And something that's going to leave a little bit behind, if that makes sense. And I feel like this does. Um, I think it's a good product. I definitely like it, and I really, really, really like the smell. So, um, oh, you know what? I never went over the ingredients with you, so let me do that real quick. There are a lot of ingredients on here. I'm not going to read all these. I'm going to read probably the top, just the top half. So the first ingredient, which is what we want, the first ingredient is water. And the water apparently is enriched with aloe vera, which would account for the slime, right? And the consistency of the product. So water enriched with aloe vera. And then we have sodium methyl cocal taurate. I don't know what that is. And then we have witch hazel, glycerin, two things I cannot pronounce, three things I cannot pronounce, soy lechin, lechin, Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Let me see if we have some stuff in here that I can't pronounce. Well, there's rosemary in here. There is hydrolyzed corn protein. There's wheat protein. There is silk powder and hydrolyzed silk protein. So, you guys, if you are protein sensitive, you might want to leave this alone. However, those are the last ingredients, so it, may not, it probably isn't that much of those to do any kind of, you know, major issues with because they're the, the, the last they are the last one two three four ingredients are proteins so i would assume there's probably a drop not that much in there okay but yeah i, I really like this i will be buying it again i think it's a very good shampoo it's a very mild cleanser but leaves your hair feeling very conditioned and moisturized afterwards what else can you ask for all right you guys that's it for this video i'll see you tomorrow Ahala!